And uh, in fact, those, uh, hopefully, if uh, team approve it, they there will be four articles on, on, on the project that will be for the new uh, IWGS uh, issue mm -hmm. about Lotus. So, let me tell you, this is um, the collection of teacup loads. Okay. Most of, uh, at the beginning, when we begin with the album project, most of the plants that, that we were working on were the dwarf varieties. Mm -hmm. And when I arrived here in 2006, one of the ideas I, I noticed it, um, our plants were growing in another area, I'm going to show it to you later, but the plants, we had one to four containers and they were three gallon containers. And to me, six is a good number of reps. So I decided to um, have six plants. We found this new container, with, uh, which we call the squat pot. It's a seven gallon container, seven and a half. And it's a, it's a nice looking pot for Lotus. Now, we, we set up the collection here. We had the sprinkler system. We start labeling the plants on the container, but also on aluminum tags. We, we, we start with 150 varieties on this area. And eventually, since this became a very good display area, I start putting the new, the new cultivars. Mm -hmm. Also, we added uh, add some of the new bigger varieties here. And um, this year, on this empty space, I'm going to set up a whole set of pots with edible lotus. So, Are the teacups mainly uh, just for ornamental, or will they also be agricultural? Uh, they are just ornamental. There was a study, there was an evaluation that we were doing this summer with um, evaluating some of the ornamental lotus for edible purposes. Some of them were absolutely gorgeous. They look like um, lady fingers. Okay. They're beautiful. I mean, it's like, wow, you want to eat it. Uh, and, and we were trying, we were determining what it makes a, a edible lotus different from an ornamental lotus in terms of a starch composition, texture, flavor. Mm -hmm. So we harvest several of the ornamental plants. So, as you can see, very typical teacup lotus. They, they, the the size of the stem, about the about the soil level, will be six inches to to twelve inches long. This is a very typical teacup lotus leaf. And depending on the conditions, they might they might grow much bigger, but. Um, for this setup, that's what we want. Plants that don't get more than 12 inches long. And as I said, we had over 150 varieties growing in this patch. And every every plant, you come over, oh, well, not every plant, most of the plants, we'll have, we'll have an aluminum tag that will say the the Alburn code that we had for it and also the name of the of the of the cultivar this is crab clouds red and the Alburn code is um, F26 so one of the things that I do on the periodical basis I go around and I take pictures of the buds the one day flower, the seed pods. And the idea is that um, little by little we build up a collection of pictures so people can go into the website and say, oh, I want to buy this variety, Perry Slocum. And then they will see a report of how the plant looked like. And then teacups will be available to a lot more people than uh, the large lotus used to be. In, in fact, with, uh, with the work that we're doing with uh, the Bancroft, uh, uh, they, 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 they do offer a lot of the teacups right now. 
What are some of the, uh, I don't know if she has them listed as dwarfs or smalls, but what are some of the names of the teacups? Oh man, I, um, just to give you an idea, I better read them. Sushi, lunch. There is a um, there is a lot of different names we had, um, um, and, and I, I, I will I will I will be guessing. I mean, I'd rather go and uh, pick the names of it. But main, um, if you see the list, uh, our uh, our uh, collection uh, list. In fact, I can send you a, a copy of the spreadsheet. And, and it will tell you the size and good 75% of our collection. They are teacups, they are small size plants, and then the medium size, most of them is what I like to call the American selection. And those comes from the uh, Perius Locum Garden. Uh -huh. And then uh, um, Perius Locum and the native uh, Perius Locum selections, hybrids, cultivars, and then uh, and the Native American lotus is a medium size, and then the large lotus. Those are um, most of them are uh, my uh, our edible selections. Very few cultivars from uh, also from from various lotus. 